Hey guys, it's Evan. It's October 10th, 2022. Yesterday, I was fortunate to have a litter of Guyana boas. This boa, Connie, gave them to me. I just want to show you um, postpartum body condition. So this snake, this is what she looks like the day after giving birth. Boa constrictors are capital breeders. And even though she was probably heavier condition than a lot of people would keep their pet boas, this is what she looked like at the end. She fed throughout the gestation, fed her rabbit about a month before she gave birth. This is still what she looked like. So um, I'm not going to tell you how to breed or feed your snakes, or but I will tell you that if you're breeding them, you need to go out with enough condition on them that they have the energy, the capital energy, to go through that breeding process. Because this snake was very, very robust at the start of this, and even she got taken out. And this has happened both times. And as long as she goes back to feeding, she'll be A-OK, -okay and I can get this condition back onto her and the, uh, by next summer, easily. I won't breed her again next year, but I could get the condition on by next summer. But if there is any complications, this would just be another strike again. She'd be able to get her recovered. So use this as a good body condition cue to what it takes for these boas to produce the babies that you want them to produce and feed them accordingly.